Okay, so let's talk about finding the area of a regular hexagon. And this is the problem we're going to be doing here in a minute or two. And this is a hexagon, which is a six-sided polygon. And it is a regular hexagon, meaning that all the sides are equal and all the interior angles are equal as well. That is a very important detail in order to calculate the area of this regular hexagon. Now you can see here we have some information uh, that the side of this regular hexagon is 8 square root of 3 and the apothem is 12. Now this video is a correction video for another video I posted uh, basically finding the area of a hexagon and uh, there was a problem with that video. So I really appreciate those of you that reach out uh, to me and uh, let me know, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you posted something that was incorrect. Uh, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on. I post a lot of content, so I uh, apologize if I don't get to uh, read all the comments on all the videos that I post. But uh, again, I do appreciate for those of you that um, reached out to me. Now, what I was saying in that video was correct, but there was a problem with the problem. And I'll review that with you in one second. And of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem. And a matter of fact, we're going to do this area problem of this hexagon using two different formulas. All right, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll go through uh, this previous video that I posted, and I'll talk about the error there, and then we'll calculate the area of this particular regular hexagon using two different formulas. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the area for this particular hexagon. What is it? Well, here it is, uh, 498.8 units squared, or 288 times the square root of 3 units squared. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. I have to give you a happy face and A+. Plus. Now, for me, for this previous video that I posted, I'm going to have to give myself maybe, well, I don't want to be too hard on myself, but I'll give myself a C+. Plus. Now, what I was teaching in that previous video was correct, but the information in the problem was wrong, and that can happen. But uh, anyways, if you got this right, uh, again, let me go ahead and write that A-plus again. That's pr uh, probably the best part of being a teacher is you get to write these things. Of course, you get 100% and multiple stars. Now, here's the deal. There's two ways to do this problem, two formulas, and this uh, video is going to be an improvement on the previous video that I posted, but let's go ahead and get into all this right now. Okay, so what we're dealing with is the area of a regular polygon. All right, now specifically, we're dealing with a six-sided polygon, which is a hexagon. And here is this previous problem I keep referring to. So what I had was a, a regular um, a hexagon. I gotta be careful here. I'm using the word hexagon and polygon. A hexagon is a polygon. And uh, the problem that we're doing, or I was doing, and we are doing uh, now, um, has to deal with a regular polygon or a regular hexagon. This is very important because uh, these types of polygons, all the sides are congruent. And we can see that by this little, by these little notations right here. This says all the sides are congruent, but all the angles inside um, as well are congruent. So that makes this a regular polygon or a regular hexagon. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at this previous problem. But before I tell you about this problem, let's just get some basics down because this is a formula that you need to know. Now, uh, this problem um, I had in this other video, um, I gave you the apothem and the perimeter. Now, in this uh, problem that we're doing right now, I'm also giving you the apothem. Now, a lot of people don't know what this word means, and then they're only used to finding the area of a hexagon using another formula, but you need to know how to use this uh, uh, formula as well. But of course, you can't use this formula unless you understand what this word apothem means. Means, excuse me. Okay, so what does this word mean? Well, inside 
of our regular hexagon here is a center, and the distance from the center down to one side, the perpendicular distance, excuse me, that is what we call the apothem, okay? Now this side right here, this distance would be uh, referred to as the radius, and then uh, these are the sides, okay, like S, all right? And of course, because we're dealing with a regular hexagon, all the sides are equal. So to calculate the area of a regular hexagon or a regular polygon, all we can do is take one half and multiply it by the apothem. Of course, I'm gonna show you this problem here in a second that I did in this previous video. And then we need to multiply it by the perimeter and the perimeter is simply the number of sides we have. And of course we have a six sided polygon and we'll multiply it by six, which of course is 36. That is the perimeter, right? So sum total around the side. So let me show you this prom that I had in this previous video. By the way, I took this video down um, because I don't want to confuse uh, anyone out there that's gonna watch a video for the first time. So I'm just kind of redoing it right here. But again, I appreciate all the feedback that was um, outstanding. Okay, so here was that problem. I said the apothem was four, okay, on this prom and uh, the side is six, all right? So if we just kind of follow the logic here, if I go, all right, six times six times six, right here, just go all the way around, the perimeter will be 36, and if the apothem is four and the perimeter is 36, well, if we use this formula, uh, area is equal to one half the, uh, times apothem times the perimeter, we're gonna get the answer 72 units squared. So what is the problem? Well, here's the problem. These values are incorrect, okay? This, uh, these numbers here are not right. Okay, in other words, you can't have a regular um, hexagon with an apothem of four inside six. Okay, this would be four, this would be like eight. So the distances, the measures here are incorrect. And um, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure where I pulled this prom. It's possible that I could have thought of the prom. I said, I have a massive library of math problems, and you might be surprised. And of course, um, you know, I was remiss in not catching this, but you might be surprised on um, the amount of errors that are in actual math textbooks. Now, of course, if you are a teacher, uh, you can relate to this. You'll find actual errors in even textbooks. So errors um, happen. Of course, I make errors. Now, I would have uh, figured out that this was an error if I check this work using another formula, right? So if I use two different formulas to calculate the area of this hexagon, they should be equal, but this is incorrect because the values were incorrect. So bad, uh, right idea, but bad numbers, right? Actual, not realistic numbers to use. So the problem that we're gonna be doing now are actual real values. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I apologize, apologize again for the confusion on this problem. All right, but we're gonna be using the same uh, formulas and same concepts, but we're gonna be using uh, actual numbers and values that work out. Okay, so uh, before we do that though, let's take a look at this other uh, formula that we want to be familiar with, and this is the area of a regular hexagon. Again, regular indicating that the sides are equal and the interior angles are congruent as well. So uh, the formula for, um, for the area of a regular hexagon is three square root of three over two, uh, well, three square root of three times the side squared, all that divided by two. So this is the measure of the side which in this previous problem I had, right? So right here I have six, and if I calculate the area here, well, guess what? That area does not turn out to be 72 units squared. So, you know, I was like not too good there, you know, and I uh, made an error. So I apologize, but let me go ahead and try to redeem myself by uh, showing you exactly how this um, uh, these two formulas work, okay? Again, Sometimes you're going to be given uh, problems where you're finding, you're finding the area of a regular polygon, okay, to include a hexagon using this word here, apothem. So you need to be familiar with it. You're not just going to be dealing only with hexagon. You'll, you can be dealing with all different sorts of regular polygons. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this regular hexagon with sides, uh, or a side, equal to eight square root of three and an apothem of 12. All right, so we're going to use this lovely formula right here. So the area of a regular pol uh, polygon is equal to one half the, um, times apothem times the perimeter. 
Okay, so what is the apothent? Again, that is 12. So we're just going to plug in these values right now. And then what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is going to be 6 times uh, 8 square root of 3, right? Because we have 6 sides. So we'll just take 6 and we'll multiply it by 8 square root of 3. So here is the setup for that. Okay, so now we're basically just going to do a bunch of number crunching. So let me just kind of walk you through this. So uh, 2 goes into 12 sixes, all different sorts of ways you can approach this. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48 times the square root of 3. So 6 times 48 is 288 times the square root of 3. And then, uh, of course, we can go into our calculator, find the square root of 3, multiply by 288, and we get about 498.8. Again, we're talking about area here, so we want to indicate units squared. So both of these answers are correct, and we calculated it using this formula. Okay. All right, so now let's use this other formula to calculate the area, and you're going to see that indeed it's going to work out the same way. All right, but before we do that, I'm going to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. I really enjoy teaching math. I'll tell you something, I, and I love correcting mistakes. Uh, there's no such thing as being 100% perfect, and I am a uh, perfect example of that. So if I make math errors, again, I've been doing math for decades, then certainly, you know, uh, you or anyone else. It's just you know, error to error is uh, being human, if you will. The key is to try to learn from your mistakes and try to minimize your errors, errors, excuse me, in math. And the best way to do that is to practice, 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 and to really immerse yourself in the subject. So hopefully you are learning math from a great source, a great teacher, great textbooks. But if you need help, well, you know what? I think I put out generally pretty good content. So I need your support, though, to continue to grow my channel. So hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and apply this other cool formula that we have specifically for the area of a regular hexagon, okay? Now, the other formula that we had was uh, for the area of regular polygons, but if you have specifically a hexagon, which of course we do, all and we have the side, well, we don't need the apothem to calculate the area. So let's go ahead and apply that formula right now. So this is three square root of three times the side squared. Of course, we have the side here, eight square root of three over two. And now let's see if this works out to be equal. And you'll see, indeed, it does. Okay, so here is the problem. Side is uh, equal to eight square root of three. So the area is gonna be three square root of three times the side squared, all that divided by two. So let's go ahead and substitute eight square root of three for that side. Uh, squared, and now let's go ahead and do the number crunching. So this is going to be 3 square root of 3, 8 square root of 3 times 8 square root of 3 squared is going to be what? 8 times 8 is 64. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to be 3. Okay, so hopefully you follow me with all of that. And now let's go ahead and go through this now. We're almost there. Of course, feel free to use a calculator. So 2 goes into 64. Uh, 32 times, so we have 32 times 3 times 3 square root of 3. So we can go 3 times 32 times uh, this 3 will give us 288 square root of 3. Boy, that looks familiar. And when we do all of this, uh, take that square root of 3, multiply it by 288, we get, again, 498.8 units uh, squared approximately. Same answer. And that's what we should have gotten with this previous problem that I did uh, incorrectly, okay, right here, all right? So this problem, although I um, was using the information, the given information correctly, uh, you know, it wasn't an actual, um, you know, actual realistic values for a regular hexagon, okay? So again, I apologize for that video. And if you're watching this for the first time, you know, hopefully you're like, wow, okay, interesting. Because in the previous video, I actually only gave you the one formula using the apothem. But here, uh, we took a look at both formulas. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.